All right, I am going to do my thrift haul finds and share with you what I found along with the pricing. So it's a little bit here. Yee! Pretty good day. So I got, look at this set. Oh, I'm so in love with that. I'll show you what I got with it. So it said nine pieces on the sticker. But unfortunately, there were only eight there. So one must have got broken. But it's four full plates, three little plates, and then this one baby plate. But you can see at least the style, the design of it. And so all of that set, this whole beautiful set, was originally $9.99. And they gave me a dollar off because there was a piece missing. So $8.99, nine bucks. Nine bucks for this. I'm obsessed. 22 fifth Adeline blue and white. I'll have to look that up and I'll post later if it was a score or not and what this costs new. But it's not real. I'm not really in it for the value for that one because I want to keep it for myself. I just thought it was super pretty. Okay. Oh, I love these. I found these two candlesticks at um, World Serve. Oh, look how pretty they are. Oh, oh my god, I saw them on the shelf and they're they're six bucks each. I try not to buy anything over like five, but I'm kind of excited to see. Um, it doesn't really say, it just says decorative purpose uh, inside. Nothing, nothing uh, for names, but I just think it, they're really pretty. So there's those. I got some flower bundles. I'm always looking for inexpensive faux flowers because I use them in my vignettes and staging, but 10 bucks for quite a few florals. So those will be good to be used. I'll cut those and use them as necessary. Here's some more florals. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oops, falling off here. Another bundle, $15 for this one. Um, but I think I can mix, I don't like how they look like this, but I think I can mix and match them in with other things. And then these tall ones are pretty nice. So, um, yeah, they're not the most high end, these version or these flowers, but they should serve a purpose as fillers. Um, but the best flowers, which I shared on my story are these ones that I got for six bucks that obviously I bought those other ones first and then I found these. A different store these ones are from value village but look how pretty they are six dollars for all of these so i am pretty psyched about that one nice lots of florals hey don't eat that go my dogs are trying to eat the flowers right now um so i'm just neutral a couple bucks for these just artwork for staging i'll see no Okay. Oh, this was 250. So I just kind of it's metal, so it'll it's for pillar candles or not pillar, uh, tapered candles, and I think that'll just look really nice, nice black. Honestly, I just love this thing. This was from Woman in Need. Mm, my Santa jar. <laughs> so this when I. When it was up on the shelf, it actually had a bunch of, um, so you can see this like salt, white salt stuff. It was full of it and it had a little Santa set in it. <laughs> so I didn't want the Santa set and I had her dump out the salt, which I then thought after she dumped it, I should have kept because I can put it in little jars for bathrooms for staging to look like bath salt. Anyway, too late now, but it was only, it was eight bucks and I just really like this, this jar. So that one's really pretty. And this one, I just, you know, I love kind of antique -y looking things. So this one is actually also a candle holder. I'll just dig out that wax there, put a little candle in it. So this one is $4.99. So I'm going to really probably mix that in with one of the vignettes to come. Um, well, yeah, there's like this little 
I'm like a baby cloche with a candle base. Uh, $2.99. So I just think that'll look really pretty on a tray or something. And $1.99 for this candle holder. Just, I love, I like, I put a lot of pillar candles in my staging and, and in my vignettes, so I'm always looking for nice bases. Uh -oh. I hear glass shaking. I hope nothing got broken in this. Oh no, it's a bell. <laughs> so I loved the um, cast iron bell that I have in the farm, the UK. Uh, eucalyptus farmhouse vignette that I just put in my client's house for staging so I was on my hu hunt for more bells um, but I really like this one I think you know when you put that on a book next to a flower or plant and I just think they're so pretty so um, yeah I like that bell I have to rewrap all these things after um, it's like Christmas I don't even remember what I got Oh yeah, and I already have one of these actually, so now I have two of them if I want it. Um, one dollar for that, so that's really pretty. It actually comes with a gold stand, which I have on the other one, but um, for a buck, I'll take it. Oh, and another bell I found, five dollars for this one, um, but just so pretty, nice and crystal um and then i saw some other i think this is probably not i think it's probably glass it's hard to tell probably glass um but i did find some crystal ones so they were just quite a bit more pricey so i'm happy i found that one for five bucks <laughs> this guy he was on my story as well a little dinosaur two dollars for this baby isn't he cute? So he can just go on a table or even a like a bookshelf. You know, when you just get like textural, sculptural items, they come in a lot and, and handy for styling and staging. All right. Oh yeah, I talked about how these sconces. So these are normally meant to go on a wall, put shelves, um, but crystal told me that she uses them for bookends on on um, shelves. So I really like that idea. So I got two of them to be bookends. So I'm looking forward to using those on a shelf. Unboxing. Oh yeah, I got these just plain white candle holders. Um, geez, I don't even remember how much they are. I think they were two bucks or something, but they're just from Ikea. So I'm going to Google that after and see. I bet there are only a couple, like a dollar or two more new, but nice and easy. I was already there and they're different sizes, which is really good for doing trios and they're just plain white and neutral and nice to use. Okay. Hold on, so halfway through. It's a good day today. I haven't gone uh, thrifting in a, quite a while actually, but I have a stage this week and I didn't have enough stuff for it, so time to go get stuff. Um, got this vase. I'm not usually a huge fan of yellow, but I really like that it fades down into this like chalky white color because when you do fake flowers, it's nice not to see the tip of the stems. So this one was a bit more, oh no, it was on half price. So it was a blue tag which meant today was half price, so um, for $3.50, <laughs> math. Um, yeah, $3.50 for that vase. Again, when I find textural items, I win. So this is always just really nice as well. You don't have to worry about candles or florals all the time. You can just keep it as its own standalone piece of decor. So this one was $5. This pear that weighs like 10 pounds, obviously not because I'm throwing it, but it's like really heavy. Uh, I think it's cement, honestly, it's $5. So I really like just how neutral it is, cement. I'm always a fan of cement no matter what. And 
oh, this jar, which I really liked the pattern on. So this one was $5 as well. It seemed like the Goodwill at um, Southland and McLeod there. Pretty much everything on the shelf was $5, I feel like. <laughs> There's like most of the stuff in this bag is $5. Um, so yeah, that one was, again, cool texture, good to have. This one was a little bit more money. I couldn't decide if I should have bought it or not. And then I did. So here we are. $15 for this one. But it's kind of cool. And now that I'm looking at it, I feel like maybe it looks too much like a hookah. Does it go this way? Maybe it's better this way. I think this is the way it goes. <laughs> Not, yeah. Anyway. Uh, so I just, you know, sometimes it's really good to find taller stuff to go on mantles when you have to do a bit of a tiered look. So probably overspent on that one a little bit. Hopefully I made up in some other areas. My little unicorn. <laughs> Another bookend piece, eight bucks. These are always nice to have on shelves, make styling easy. Oh, I got two of these. Don't know where the other one is. Nope, not that one. Um, so again, these ones are $5. Just a nice, I like the blue um, pattern, so they will look nice pop of color. <laughs> And there's another one in there somewhere. Again, five dollars. See, told you. Just plain white candle holder. I really like this one as well. I like pillar candles. Um, they're just the you know pillars, straight, thick. They're just inexpensive to buy, and they look nice and modern. And oh, here's another textural piece. This one is also yes. Um, so this is really nice. It can go on a, you know, on some books, on a shelf, and on a dining table. Nice and, it's got like bubbles. So that one's nice and pretty. My owl friend. You know, sometimes this one is $5 again. Um, you just need figurines because Otherwise, there's just too many candles and flowers. I'm always obsessed with getting candle holders and jars. And then when I'm going to style, I just have candles and I have these jars that I need to put flowers in. And so I just need like basic structure, like um, sculptures. So I found this buddy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Sorry, that was probably unnecessary. Just violated you with the owl. Um, $4 for this, just again, put a candle in it, nice and shiny, draws attention, looks pretty, an easy win. Oh, this is that other candle. Oh, and I have a few of these already, actually, this is in different colors, so I got another one. This one was $3, yes, less than five. Um, but these are nice in kitchens, or I have a couple different ones that kind of look cute on vanities in different colors, so I've used those before. And now we're, the end is in sight. Just a couple more items. And don't fall over. Empty, empty, empty. I got this pillow. Five dollars? No, I think it was more than that. Ten fifty. <laughs> but it is a feather pillow, so... You can tell, you want to know why designers always chop pillows. Um, you might find it annoying trend, but it actually shows that it's a quality pillow, that it's a feather pillow because the foam ones don't chop and they're cheap. Um, so usually when you're showing that you have quality pillows, you put a chop in boop, boop, and then it just shows that, you know, this isn't garbage. And this one actually has a zipper so I can change it out with different pillowcases so that was a good find again another nice one nice and neutral this would be really pretty on a, someone's bed on a primary bedroom maybe I'll use it this weekend or this week again 1050 and also a nice quality feather pillow and it also yeah it also has a zipper so um, this one is another great pillow I got this little piece of grass, you know, these fine greenery, amazing. Cause you always want to put greenery in offices and bathrooms and like, this is great for a bathroom. Uh, 
And then I got two more things. This artwork. I don't love these strings, so I'm just going, they're just stapled on the back. So I'm just gonna actually pull those off. It's like, oh, I'll do it on camera. And then of course they're like impossible to pull off. So I'll show you later. I just, it's a bit too farmhousey for me, but I like that it has lots of colors in it for staging and it's super light. Having these kind of really light canvases are a win. And last, but certainly not least, is this one. <gasps> I love this picture. I don't know. I just, it was $7. Oh yeah. Did I even tell you how much the other things were? This other painting was $10, that birds, and this one was $7. So you know what? I actually have a spot for it and I'm going to put it right here because I don't like this picture that I bought. And you know what's annoying? This picture was $100 and it doesn't go. So I bought this $7 picture and we're going to give it a try. Right here, sometimes I shop for myself, just being honest. I have to move it down a little bit, take the sticker off, but I think I like that. So there you have it. New painting for me. See how it looks from afar. Maybe not. Maybe it'll be for staging. Um, and that is everything. So I'm going to go wrap all this up and it'll be categorized, cataloged, <laughs> and added to the site as vignettes over the next few weeks. And you might see it in my stage this week. So thanks for tuning in.